This is a technique to use a shoulder immobilization with using uh, an elastic wrap. Um, so if we came to a patient who had injured her shoulder or upper arm or she comes to carrying it uh, and you need to splint it, this is one technique that you can use if you don't have a triangular bandage uh, or a sling. Um, you can use an elastic wrap. Um, you can either, these are you have to use a double length wrap. You can either use a four inch or a six inch, depending on the size of the individual. Um, you're also going to need some some tape to help secure that band or the pins. First, we're going to do is we're going to have that athlete. Um, when you put the the wrap on, you want to make sure that you're going in towards the body. We're just going to anchor it right there on the wrist. And then she's going, to, she's going to put her arm in a comfortable position uh, if she needs to adjust it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go up over the shoulder. Oh, hold on a second. So if this is the injured arm, we're actually going to go up over the good shoulder. Okay. Now we're going to come around. So there's no wrap on the injured shoulder. And then we're just overlapping these in the back. Gradually go a little bit closer to the wrist. So after you get about three of them on there, then you're going to go around the just above the elbow, around the waist. And you can do this one or two times. One should be enough, uh, depending on how much wrap you have left. Uh, and what I'm going to do is, if we have the tape, you can tape it down. Um, pin it, or, or you can use the, the tape and secure it. Oh. thing that we want to make sure is we want to we can check our uh, circulation, our pulse at the wrist or the fingers. We also want to make sure that she has the whole weight of the arm so she can't, the uh, arm doesn't go down or the arm doesn't go out, uh, which will be painful in both directions. Uh, and again, check the injury to make sure it's safe and then just refer them to see a doctor in the right